Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Critics Cup. My name is Jacob, and today we're looking at Lego Marvel Studios What If Set, seven, number 76201, Captain, Amer Captain Carter, sorry, and the Hydra Stomper. Retails for £28 in the UK and $30 in the US, and other prices may vary in the country you're in. But yeah, this set, um, let's just get right into it. So let's start with taking the figures out of the way. So first thing we have here is this little extra stud holder thing. Very weird. I don't know what that's meant to provide, but hey, it's there. Anyway, let's take a look at the set itself. So just a quick overview of the set. It's um, one of the slightly shorter, smaller um, Iron Man mech type sets. But it looks really cool. I love that it's a green mech as well. As little elements of sand green and dark gr bluish grey, which makes the colours pop. So let's start with the detailing on the chest plate. So in the centre there, there's a two by one um, plate which is glow in the dark, which I'll show later. Uh, so we've got a sticker here with the Captain America Shield logo, and I believe this is like a energy pole kind of thing. Another sticker across the chest there, and a little sticker up here, just beneath the chin. As always, great to see the face um, helmet is printed. Lots of cool detailing on there, as you can see. Got a little sword um, as the antenna. Here we have on top of the shoulders um, is two like mobile phones where Captain Carter can hold on. Uh, looking at each of the arms, they're both um, symmetrical. So I've got two stickers on here and a stud shooter underneath, you know how those work. So the possibility, you've got a ball joint in the shoulder, which is really good, great, great range of motion. You, can, you cannot um, twist the um, hand sort of tool any other way. It's, it's a bit of a weird connection. It's like um, a Technic piece connection. So that's a bit different for Lego to do, but the arm can go up and down, all the fingers and the thumb can move. Same thing on the other side and identical stickers. Got some grieveling detail here. And to open up, you just pop the head open, pull the chest plate down, and you can take your Steve Rogers figure and just place him in there. And he fits nice and snug. And boom, he's ready to go and stomp on Hydra. And then also let's take it while looking at articulation. So the legs, they're on ratcheted ball joints, well, ratcheted joints, sorry. And then the feet, ankle area is on ball joints as well. Uh, toes don't move or anything, so you've got a sticker there and a sticker on there, on the knee. Both identical again. The, the body does not rotate or anything like that. On the back, you've got some like, um, like fuel power containers, so assuming that allows it to fly. You've got um, feet thrusters on the bottom of each feet, like most of the Iron Man mechs do. I think all of them do, actually. Um, but yeah, that's. I guess that's all there is, really. This one's pretty basic out of all the Iron Man mechs. Let me just quick, while well, I've got them here on hand, if I grab the War Machine Buster, you can see. It's roughly the same size. It's actually quite, it's a lot larger than I thought compared to the other mechs. So yeah, it's closer to this. They're still using the same similar design that they used for the Iron Monger set. But they've changed the um, body piece, which, taking that set away. They've changed the body piece. So let me just quickly grab Iron Monger. Oh, here's Iron Monger. Jesus, God damn it. Oh my god, look, look how much bigger he is compared to the Hydra Stopper. God, that's his. Huge. <laughs> um, but yeah, this mech also just came out for those in the US, but it came here out in the UK. I believe it was July or June 1st. Oh, god, time has just flown by since I got this set. But yeah, still very large. Um, yeah, you can see the size difference there. Not too much in it, but... God, this, this Iron Monger is just ridiculously oversized. Anyway, I've saved all my piece for that set. But yeah, still a cool set though. Really enjoy it. 
It's a good little build, but it's pretty standard for a mech build. Anyway, so that's that for the set. Let's jump into the figures. So here is Steve Rogers. Uh, this is the skinny version of Ski Steve Rogers in the What If episode. At the time of recording this video, the episode has been released and I very enjoyed it. His character in the show, even though it's not Chris Evans doing the voice, I think the voice actor, who I forget the name of, did a great job voicing his character in the show. But yeah, so no leg printing at all, but that's to be expected on a set like this. You can see he's got great torso printing there of like his military outfit. Just a generic um, face printing for him. And his regular hairpiece that he comes with in most sets. On the back you've got some normal torso printing with a parachute. And he does have a more stern expression. But yeah, he doesn't come with any accessories. I guess the only accessory he needs is the Hydra Stomper. But it's technically our first official Steve Rogers minifigure, which is actually quite cool when you think about it, even though we've had Captain America figures come with the head and the hair piece separately. This is technically our first civilian, like Tony Stark, um, Steve Rogers, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's a cool figure to get. Next up, we have Captain Carter in her stealth suit, which um, mild minor spoiler for the episode. She does not wear this suit in the episode at all, her stealth suit. But we're getting a collectible minifigure version of her coming out um, on September 1st in the UK. Um, with all the bells and whistles of like leg printing, arm printing and new hair piece and all that. But this is still a pretty okay figure to get. It's just a shame we never got um, a Steve Rogers version of the stealth suit. I mean, you could, well you can't really use the shield because it's got the Union Jack logo on it. But she's got great torso printing. As you can see there, she's got a stern expression and her back torso print is just like the normal Captain America back torso print, but she does have a more happy expression. So that's the second figure, uh, Captain Carter, who's really cool to finally get as a minifigure. This is technically our first ever Peggy Carter figure. So that's really cool that we get her in her outfit like this. Final minifigure included in the set is the Red Skull, who's our first MCU version of him. Comes with a regular stud shooter and a tesseract, which is an unprinted Minecraft head, which is kind of an interesting piece to use. I don't know why they changed that, because um, I can't remember what piece they use in the CMF series, but they're using a different piece in the CMF series. But yeah, this is the same torso from the Avengers Tower set, and the leg printing comes on a lot of bad guy figures, and I don't think, it re I don't think it's been used for a good guy figure, but you could correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. It's got a uh, angry expression and on the back. So on the back he's just got some generic torso printing with red highlights. So I don't know if you guys can quite see that. It show it seems to be showing up well on camera. But yeah, it does glow in the dark as you can see. Focus. Yeah, that's really cool. Very neat little feature to add. Both of the uh, Iron Man sets I've reviewed so far have got this feature, which is nice. And here is the box for the set. Uh, so it's labelled under What If, the new TV show that's just started. And as you can see here on the front of the box, you've got all the information you need. Some really nice comic strip artwork down the side. Uh, some background, background detail with clock tower and all that, which is nice. Down the side of the box, you've got The Watcher, played by Jeffrey Wright in the show. Can't wait to get the other set where his minifigure is included. Down the bottom you've got the figures there. Um, some nice artwork on the top and the um, like the purplish space galaxy glow that they have for the what if. Back of the box just shows some details. Uh, there's nothing to see in the instructions. Doesn't have, have any advertisements for any of the other sets. But yeah, that's the box. So yeah, that's it from my review. I didn't actually show this in the... Um, review section but you can make Captain Carter hold on to the Hydra Stomper where the phone pieces are, they're like handles for her. Uh, yep so that's it for the set, really cool set, highly recommend it especially if you've seen the What If episode, this brings a lot from, um, adds a lot once you've seen the show and make you want this set a lot more. I highly recommend watching What If, it's going to be a great show guys, I've got a good feeling about it. It's each week is a completely different story with different characters and different scenarios. So I don't, 
highly even though it's animated and it's not live action a lot of these characters can jump to live action they're talking about possibly doing that with certain characters in the future but the show, the animation is really great i would highly just just watch it guys it, it may be animated but that all the actors came back to voice their respective characters apart from um some here and there like chris evans and robert downey jr but yeah uh the show's great the set is really good it'll be it's going to go well with my iron man collection it's nice to have a different color because we've mainly just got red and silver suits and one figure suit the blue one but a green one is nice to add i uh, got to get the other what if set yet but they will stay tuned for that there will be a review of that and uh, sometime in the future i don't know when i'm gonna get it yet at the moment i've got this and the four set to review but yeah be sure to leave a, um comments down below and like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video